Once you've logged into your digital sign-in solution, you'll be directed to your home page. From your home page, we're going to move from creatives across to playlists. Now we'll be able to see all of the playlists that have been created and are currently on your digital signage platform. To edit an existing playlist, simply move to the playlist and then click on the pencil. In this video, we're going to make a new playlist. I'm going to click on the new playlist tab. I can now change the name of this playlist. So I'm going to call this one training video. To the right, I can add a description if I wish to do so. On the left hand side are where I can see my folder structure and any creatives. To add a creative to your playlist, find the one that you wish to start your playlist with and simply move to the middle and click on the plus symbol. Then add all of the creatives that you would like to have. If you add them in the wrong order, do not worry, simply move to the creative you wish to move, press and hold your mouse button down and then as we move it across, we can see by the dots joined together by a line, that is where the creative will move to. Now I've moved the creative into the right place, we can change the duration. On each of the creatives at the bottom, we can see a time. This is the length of time that this creative will be appear on the screen before it changes to a new one. To edit it, simply click on the existing time and then a pop-up box will arrive and we can now change it. We do this using seconds. So if I want this to run for 120 seconds, so two minutes, I can either over type it or use the up and down arrow. Once I'm happy, simply click the tick box and the time for that creative has now changed. If I move to the middle of my creative, I can then click on the schedule button. Here we can decide to schedule this content within our playlist or we can have it as an event. To start with, we're gonna look at scheduling. We can choose to have it on a weekly reoccurring, so every week it will appear, or we can choose just a custom date. Let's look at the weekly to start with. The default will, for the system will be that your creative will play seven days a week. If you do not want it to appear on certain days, simply click on the day you do not want to see it, and on these days, the creative will be hidden. So example, with this creative, if I publish it, it will play today, and then tomorrow and Sunday, it will hide itself. When we get to Monday, it will re reappear in the rotation with the other creatives. Underneath choosing the day, we can choose to have it as a reoccurring play, i.e. it will play continuously every single day until we remove it. Alternatively, if I click on the sliding button, I can now give it a schedule. It may be I do not want it to start today, but I want it to start, for example, on the 26th. If I click on the start date, I can open up a calendar. I can jump between the different months by using the arrows at the top of the screen. I want this creative to start on the 26th. So it's now changed to the 26th. If I click on the time, I can simply overtype to change the time. So now this creative will hide itself until six o'clock on the 26th of January. For the end date, I can either have it running forever, so we would have to manually remove it from the playlist, or we can actually choose a date for it to hide itself again. So I'm gonna go with the 31st, and I'm gonna have it at midnight. It may be that we only want it to be hidden for a period of time. So now I can click on add a date, I can tick not all day and I can choose a set range. So it's not going to play all day. It's only going to play between six o'clock and midday. And we can keep adding different times throughout the day. So the system will automatically add and remove it throughout the day so that your screen is showing the relevant content for its audience. So now I've got the first day set between the 26th to the 31st. It will only appear within the rotation between six o'clock and 12 o'clock. It will then hide itself until two o'clock and four o'clock. And I'm gonna remove that last time range, there we go. And if I move down, I'm now gonna have it starting again in February. So I'm gonna click on the date, move to February, and we'll have it from the 9th. 
and then it's going to continuously play forever. If I move down, we have some advanced settings. We can have it start and stop playing on an exact time. What this means is that if I tick this box and I publish it, the creative, it may be halfway through the playlist when we get to six o'clock, so we may be on a different creative, it would instantly change to start with this creative. So it would stop the playlist and restart it in essence. If we untick it and just leave it as it is, this creative will wait until it's turn before it comes in. So if it was on the second creative at six o'clock, we would wait probably until about five minutes past before it appears. So we can choose to let it naturally fall into the playlist or we can force it to start at literally that time. If we move down, we can click on play creative on loop in schedule time. By selecting it, it will only play this creative in a loop within the scheduled time frame. So that's what we're going to do. So now it will just automatically fall in naturally. If, however, I do not want it to play on weekly, I can click on custom date. I can now do exactly as we did before, say it has to be hidden until the 16th of February. I can then give it an end date. And then I could add a second date and time if I wish to. So we can build up an internal schedule for each creative. So your playlist is a live organism that we constantly have images and creatives moving in and out of to fit our audience. If I now move to the top and click on events, I have three options. If you have made a creative using a touch widget, we would need to click touch event. I then have my two options that we've just looked at. For touch widget creatives, you must tick touch event. If I move down, we can choose a creative to only show if we've got an empty screen, i.e. we have personalized all of these different creatives and if we've made a mistake and we haven't scheduled for a certain time, we would normally end up with a black screen. By choosing a creative that will appear, so it could be a creative with just your logo on it, this will mean that your screen will never display a black screen. At the very least, it would show your holding creative. We can also use custom events, but please contact support. Once you've added everything, simply click add at the bottom. And then if we move to the top right hand corner, we can now click create. You've now created your first playlist along with an internal schedule and adjusting playback settings. I hope you've enjoyed this video.